Morning everyone, you bunch of legends. You join me again this week for another wild camp. Back in Thetford Forest. Back in the pine. I love pine forests. I like all forests. <laughs> but um, something about pine forests just feels like home for me. Maybe it's because I've had Thetford Forest on my doorstep all these years. But when I think of a forest, I think of pine. But I'm camping between some silver birch and some pine. I haven't wrecked this spot at all today. I've just come out in the car, pulled over on a track, and uh, just winging it. We're just winging it, so let's see what we've got. Stay tuned. Uh-oh. Got my Bluetooth speaker for tonight. Welcome back. I've gone with the plow point setup today. It's my favourite tarp setup, I'm not sure why. I think I just like the open front. It's nice and homely in there. I think I'm just going to kick some moss around the sides and the back. Just to aid the tent pegs, stop any draft coming in. Brought the guitar with me. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but it's probably the coolest cliche I know. Bringing a guitar to camping. Play some riffs around the fire tonight. It's going to be a good camp. I'm buzzing for this one. So it's the complete opposite of a stealth camp today. I'm as deep as deep can get in the woods in Fetford Forest. Absolutely love it. Just the feeling knowing that I'm not going to see anybody at all. I can make as much noise as I want. I can play the guitar. I can have a nice fire, which I'll run all evening probably until I go to bed. Just for the visuals. Just because it's like your television. Some fresh oak leaves, nice to see. Another beautiful thing about pine forests is there's just dead fallen wood absolutely everywhere. And there's a setup at the back there, look. To the dude that left a comment last week saying that I was just a pisshead waster, You've really hurt my feelings, mate. So this is the lineup today. I know you removed your comment before anyone saw, but I can still see it, mate. So thanks for that. Psych! Sticks and stones, mate. Sticks and stones. Just want to send some massive love to my favourite brewers, Woodfords, that sent me a lovely lineup of beers. This isn't even all of them. They sent me a whole box full with a T-shirt and a beanie and all that. And they've got a discount code for you guys. If you want to buy some Woodford's beers, put in Bushcraft10 in capitals on their website for 10% off, which I think is really kind. I really appreciate that, Woodford's. Thank you so much. Can't wait to have these today. And also a massive shout out to my YouTube idol, Mr. Hayes Outdoors. Thank you so much for sending me some beers, mate. Got a 10% Imperial IPA. Got a CBD New England 7.2. And the Brugge de Pale, all by Northern Monk. Thank you very much, mate. You're a legend. So the dude that left the comment... <clears throat> Cheers, buddy. This one's for you. 
The beauty of camping all year round is you really get to notice the seasons changing. Before I was camping or really into the outdoors, I'd just be in my car and yeah, you notice spring's here and summer's here and stuff, but when you camp out every week or ever so often, whenever you go, you really notice the changes. You see the trees go from little buds into big leaves and it's just so awesome to see. It's really nice. Right, Chief. I'm wearing tactical blue today. Just to clarify, I don't sit at home every night drinking triple hazies or anything like that. This is my weekend. Beer and camping just goes hand in hand. Like I say, I'm not sat there every night drinking. I'm not trying to promote that at all. But camping and beers just go so well together. So I always have them. And uh, yeah, I'm not a pisshead waster. <laughs> but thanks for your concern, mate. Knocked a little firewall up just because I'm going to be running this fire all evening, I think. Because I'm miles from anywhere, no one's going to see me. Get some of that heat coming back into the top. And it looks the business. <clears throat> I've got two dinners tonight now. Because I um, just had a legend who I speak to on Instagram come down and see me, called John. He's dropped me off. A curry with some naans, some beers, triple hazy. It was really awesome to chat to you, John. If you're watching, thank you very much, mate. Absolute legend. It's really nice to connect with people in this community and have people come down and say hello and stuff. Well, we had a good chat about everything. So uh, thank you, John. Really appreciate that, man. So I was watching Mr. Wild Wales the other day talking about a uh, hashtag clean up 2021. There's a group on Facebook and Instagram called Wild Campers Against Waste. So I'd just like to share that information as well. Everyone that goes wild camping, if you jump on this hashtag clean up 2021. We're just going to start bringing another empty bag with us so we can clear the area of rubbish. Take a bag home with you. And just leave the place better than when you found it. Today I'm in the arse end of nowhere. There's no rubbish around here at all. But if you watch the videos, you know that I go camping in all sorts of places. Definitely places that have rubbish. So from now on, I'm going to start taking an empty bag with me. And just start cleaning up for the hashtag cleanup2021. Thank you, Mr. Wild Wales. And uh, go and check on the Wild Campers Against Waste group. There's a lot of people doing some good things over there. So thank you, guys.
I've got the chair with me as well. I went back to the car just for tonight. I want to play the guitar and chill with my beer. So I've dug out the fire pit ready. There's a little gap at the bottom. That's just going to aid in the airflow. But the track, closest track, is over there that you saw me walk to earlier. No one's going to see this, but it's nice having a firewall. This is getting like a video full of thank yous, <laughs> but there's so many people to thank. Honestly, this community is amazing. So amazing. So I want to give a massive thank you to Pagan Outdoors on Instagram. Honestly, mate, this Tinder pouch is amazing. It's beautiful. Nice steel there. Some silver birch bark and some twine. Looking forward to getting the fire going in a bit. It's just starting to spit. Rain's really starting to come down now. I've got the fire on at a good time. It's never nice trying to start your fire in the rain. No one enjoys that. I'm gutted. I actually recorded a really nice fire lighting scene then. But I forgot to press record. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Oh well. I'm just glad real time the fire's going. I film quite a lot of fire clips because you know when you're just watching something and you get sucked in and then you kind of snap out of it after a while and you were just completely mesmerized. I try and capture it on the camera. These little craft ale tins that Woodford's are doing are just so good. The Woodford's beer just doesn't taste like anything else. It's just got this unique taste. All the range. Come on then, Mr. Hayes, let's try your Brew Gooder Pale Ale by Northern Monk. In Hayes fashion. Drive by. Got to be on the schnoz though, fail. Mmm. Beautiful, mate. Absolutely beautiful. This beer unlocks 33 litres of clean drinking water for a community that needs it. That's a hundred times the beer in this can. You're making a huge impact by drinking it. Nice touch.
That was actually my dad's guitar. Got it in the 90s. Then gave it to me maybe 10 years ago. John's made this and I didn't just buy it at a shop. So it's taken priority. I have got a food challenge, like a little cooking challenge to do later. I'll either do that later on tonight or I'll do it in the morning. We'll have a bit of an alternative breakfast maybe. But that's the beauty of the woods, there's no rules here. Couldn't really have hit that much cleaner. Right, I think it's time to heat this curry up. Gonna give it a touch of water just so I don't burn it. Put a little bit of garlic seasoning on the chicken. Cooking well. Oh, this madras is so good. It's got a kick to it. It's pretty hot. It's lovely. It's making me want another beer. Well, that was absolutely delicious. Really nice dinner. And this CBD New England's going down well. Yes, Chris. Thank you for coming down, mate. Yeah, right, so this man. is Chris, everyone. This is my best mate. He's decided to come down and have a beer with me at the camp. And uh, he plays music as Vincent Knight. He's on Facebook, Instagram. Go check him out. And he actually wrote the intro to the to the YouTube page, so the YouTube channel. So thank you for that, Chris. And uh, cheers for coming down, mate. No worries, man. Cheers, bro. <laughs> Let's have a beer. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>
We're on the 10% double heaven Imperial IPA. It's like taking your bra off at the end of a long day at work, I'm sure. Right then, it's that time where I say goodnight. Once again, I'm just going to sit by the fire, watch a bit of bushcraft TV, get a triple hazy and a couple of other beers into me and I'll be hitting the hay. So I'll see you in the morning. Oh, I love putting the warm kit on. Just gets so comfortable. And then I'm gonna use my fleece as my pillow, as well as my travel pillow. Just give it a little extra boost. Still got the habit of shaking out the boots. Being in the desert, you had to shake them out for scorpions, snakes, and spiders. A little bit of fat wood. Legs with some birch bark this morning. Because I spilt all the seasonal in the bag, we're just left with the garlic granules.
So I've got me rubbish. The only other bit of rubbish that I could find that wasn't mine was just one beer can. So I'll put it in there with mine. Because I am in the middle of nowhere really. There's not a lot of rubbish. And there we have another camp, done and dusted. I loved every single second of that camp. Thank you for watching the video. Cheers for tagging along, always appreciated. I'll see you next week. I've got a special one next week. I'm gonna try and camp at the side of a river with some woods inside an old boat wreck. So we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna go for a recce on Saturday. But have a good week. Peace and love, I'll see you soon.